Hey everyone, it's Army Gaming. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Monster Legends. Welcome to a video on Ollie Fanatic. I will be taking this monster to rank 3, at least I think I can. I hope I have enough Ludum to rank up this monster. This is in fact my very own monster. Social Point did not provide the cell, so I am going to be using this monster in PvP. I am going to be winning and I'm looking forward to making this video and speeding through it because I know everyone wants to see everything there is to know about this monster. So let's get right into it. When war broke out between his tribe and a rival one, Ollie Fanatic served as a mediator. However, he got too close to his enemies who flattered him to earn his trust and set him a trap. His family never forgave him for becoming friends with the rivals, so Ollie Fanatic end ended somber and alone. He'll never trust anyone again. Alright, that is a very, very, very sad and heartbreaking lore. Um, but it is what it is. Let's get into it. Now this monster is a killer Megaton monster. He's going to be in the meta for pretty much the rest of the game until another Megaton monster comes out. And even then, he'll still be in the meta because Megatons is just meta. If you look at the Cosmic Era, heck, even from the OG Mythic Era, Daedalus, he was able to survive in the meta for a while. Um, but we have Crowcrawler, Bomb Beta, Shelly, all of them still in the meta, right? With that said, um, his ultimate Earth Spear steals very heavy Earth damage to all enemies, applies quicksand to all enemies, and 100% life shield to itself. That's whatever, don't really care too much. Honestly, the shield is the most important thing since he's a tank. His power stat is 8184, which is right around the middle of all the Corrupted Monsters. His life stat is currently the highest one in the game. All right, as of the monsters, the Corrupted Monsters that are actually released, this is the highest, 92 to 89. Huge life stats, and his speed stat is the slowest of the Corrupted Monsters with 6160. He's actually tied with another Corrupted Monster as well. Um, Boronaut, if I'm not mistaken, you know, tanky monsters tend to be slow. Um, so, what's impressive about this monster, which we've talked about a lot, is the trait. First off, he starts off with Hardened, so 20% of the time he doesn't get hit with any negative effect. That's Dots, that's Deny, that's everything. He is immune to Curse, and he is not the first monster in the game to be immune to Curse. He's, yes, he's the first Corrupted, but there's quite a few other monsters. Thank you for everyone that commented in the video. I believe Ra Ra, Ra Ra Avis, um, Daigel for sure, and there was another one who are immune to Curse. But at rank 3, we get Status Caster Megaton, meaning he absorbs all of the attacks to him. And, I mean, you go from there, right? The thing that sets this monster apart, right? Whether you whether you like this monster's skill set or not, what sets him apart from the cosmic monsters, even who, from Shelly who can resurrect, is the fact this monster can, can get an obscure talent. So, for example, you can put a soul drag on this monster, so when the enemy kills this monster, you're basically going to kill the enemy monster, right? Because soul drag, when it's fully, fully ranked up, will take away half a million HP from the enemy monster. If it's a dark monster, that's still 250k HP. So the fact that this monster can go down fighting literally by dying, thanks to soul drag, that puts this monster on a whole other level. The enemy's really, really gonna have to think twice before killing this monster, because that soul drag is deadly. So that being said, let's actually check out this monster's skill set. Warfare Elephant deals moderate earth damage to one enemy. It is 30 stamina zero cooldown. It's just a moderate earth attack. We have Ancient Tribe applies 30% life shield to itself. I do like this because it has no cooldown, so it is spammable. So even if you get hit with CDA, which is definitely possible considering you're a Megaton monster, even if you get hit with CDA, you have a shield you can constantly reapply. Let's see what else we have. Jungle Rumbling applies a 50% life shield to itself. So this is basically Ancient Tribe, but upgraded. Costs 10 more stamina. However, it does have a one turn cooldown, but it is a 50% life shield, which again, you have the tankiest monster currently in the game. That 50% is no joke. We have Mud Jet deals moderate earth damage to an enemy and applies quicksand. You gotta love a skill like this because even though this monster can't actually attack, right? He's not there for strength runes. He's not there to deal damage. At least he can apply a dot against the enemy monster. In this case, a quicksand, which will drain a percentage of the enemy's HP on a one turn cooldown. That's pretty good. We have Ivory Wall. It goes without saying you run this skill. 60 stamina, 3 turn cooldown. This is your self Megaton skill. So if any time, and this will happen a lot, when your Megaton gets removed, this monster can reapply Megatons. It also gives them a 30% life shield. However, it does have a, a, a 3 turn cooldown, which is pretty, um, pretty high. We have, let's see, we have Stomp the Mouse. Deals heavier damage to an enemy, applies stun to an enemy. It is a stun skill. 60 stamina, 2 turn cooldown. I love it because... It's so rare to see a Megaton monster that can also deny, right? We have Cryo Crawler who can freeze, who can Mega Freeze, AoE Freeze, which is phenomenal. Um, you look at Bomb Beta, sorry, you can Daze, you can Blind, you can Sunburn. You look at Shelly, can't really do anything. This monster can at least immobilize. So you are going to run in into a situation where this monster, most of the time, honestly, you're probably going to be stunning on turn two. Or actually, it depends. You're actually going to be, I, I predict Stomp the Mouse is probably going to be your go-to skill when this monster gets a turn. I said turn 2 because sometimes you might want to reapply Megatons, but honestly, sometimes you're just going to stun to immobilize and then Megaton next turn. So Ivory Wall and Stomp the Mouse are going to be your two go-to skills most of the time. 
Uh, we have Pina Energy, which applies a 50% life shield to itself and it heals, immediate heal. I really like this because as a Megaton monster, you're absorbing a lot of attack. So the fact that you get an immediate heal plus that 50% life shield, it's quite significant. And then we have Mud Bath. This is an AoE Quicksand. So originally I like this skill, but the more I think about it, Ollie is the kind of monster that goes third in the turn order on your team. So if he's going third in the turn order, you probably don't need an AoE Quicksand. The way I see it, by the time this monster goes, one enemy monster should be dead, maybe even two enemy monsters are already dead. So at that point, you don't need an AoE Quicksand. Assuming one enemy monster is dead, like I said, you're, you're probably going to stun. You're going to stun someone to immobilize them. But if you need it to single target Quicksand, you go with Mud Jet. So assuming you stun on the first turn, on the second turn, by the time this monster gets a second turn in the turn order, there's not three enemy monsters alive, so you're probably better off with Mudjet. So I'm actually not going to recommend Mudbath. I think you can do without it. So my recommended skill set for this monster, and you can obviously swap it if you don't like it, run Ivory Wah for sure. Megaton Shield, yes. Run your stun skill. That's going to be, that's probably going to be a skill used more than anything. So we have the Megaton Shield. We have Stomp the Mouse. I'm actually going to recommend Mudjet for the single quicksand. And for the last and final skill, I like Peanut Energy. Now the problem with my skill set is that this has no zero cooldown skill so if you get hit with cda this monster is shut down for a minimum of one turn and when he does get his one turn all he can do is a mud jet so if you don't agree with that skill set that is completely fine go ahead and run whatever you would like in that case i would recommend ancient tribe you can remove one of these with ancient tribe i'd probably go with mud jet to be honest or peanut energy one of these two but i would keep ivory wand thump the mouse so that's my skill set for the monster in terms of relics oh my gosh he can hold the double shield so what do we give this guy um, stamina drain. After being down by scale of warrior's life is below 75, removes 300 points of stamina from the attacker. That is amazing. And for the other shield, I don't think I want to do that one twice because it'll trigger twice. I think I want to go with um, when the turn starts gives an armor of 50k. Hmm, maybe not that. Tenacity gives a shield to everyone. What else can we do? Fullmans. When the turn starts, if any allies under control gives an armor, man, I'm waiting for the new relics. I'm waiting for sitting relics to really decide on this monster. I feel like I don't want to give him. I feel like I don't want to give him double Wang Shield. I want to do after being damaged by skill gives an armor and deals earth damage. Oh, if you have two of these fully maxed out, they could be quite significant damage from the enemy attacking you. So now they got to be aware of the High Realm Shield, and they have to be aware of your Soul Drag if you have it equipped. Um, for that, so I don't know. For that last one, this is definitely because 300 points of stamina from the attacker, and it's it's a nice armor. I only have one of them, so work with whatever you have. I would say. Um, see, I do have two of them. After being damaged by... It's, oh, wait. No, I only have one of them. Um, I guess I'll do the Vanos just for the... If the worst life increases worse. Just for the extra shield. I think that's what I'm doing. I could do Tenacity for a shield on everyone. Uh, let's see. Fullmans. Yeah. Honestly, just work with what you have. But I'm a little opposed to doing two of these. Just because, again, the, the monster that attacks you and drops you below 75, it'll trigger against that monster. So you're going to you're gonna essentially drain 600 stamina points from that single monster. Um, for now, I'm supposed to go Vanos shield for extra protection. And where's the obscure talent slot? Where is it? So for those of you that don't know, you actually got to take the monster to rank one. It's called Ascending. And that is how you actually unlock the obscure talents. So here we have, I have 200 cells. We're going to click Ascend. Like I said, we're going to speed up for the purpose of this video. I want to get him to rank three. And here we go. He is now rank one. I click continue. I get my curse immunity and I also get burning hands. So I do believe you get a random obscure talents, but we're going to unequip this and we're going to look through them. And this is what you want. The soul drag. When the warrior dies, steals 10,000 points of dark damage. But when you are fully maxed out, that is, like I said, up to 500 thousand so there's the soul drag and now the monster is good to go so now we just need to rank him up i hope i can take him to rank three so i'm sorry everyone unfortunately i do not have enough to take this monster to rank three i don't have enough let him i was able to break him out twice i'm like a hundred let him shy of ranking him up completely uh man this looks i really wanted to showcase him with the megaton because really that's the only way you showcase the monster and i do believe i've already used i've already done my dungeons i've done everything and let's see era sagas complete uh, Mythic Dungeons, I completed the only ones I can do, floors 1 through 4. I don't have rank 4 monsters, so I can't do the 4th floor. Titan Dungeon is done. This is what's giving me a lot of ludum right now. It won't be done for another 8 hours, but I won't be able to make any videos for the whole weekend. Ha! So, unfortunately, we are where we're at right now. Oh, man, I was really, really hoping that I could have showcased the monster at, at his full potential at rank 3. Because at rank 2, rank 1, rank 0, it does him zero justice. It would do this monster zero justice. I am so close. Oh man, if only I could breed one. But then I would have to speed that up. I, I don't know what this is. One of these monsters might be here. Let's just try it. We're just... Oh man, I didn't want to do that. Alright, let's see what this monster is. It is... Uh, oh! 
Oh, okay. Yes, we're gonna... Okay, we're spending so much gems just to do this. We're gonna place, and we're gonna select, and we're gonna convert. Okay, I think I can rank them up now. I think I have just enough to rank them up. Rarity, Mythic, Earth, and let's see. If I fill it all the way, I'm still not enough! Oh my gosh, this irks me so much. Okay, hold on a minute. I do have Corrupted Eridoncha, so maybe if I open all of these... Maybe, let's see what I get. Any, anything. Stardust, um, Corrupted Free Dawn. I got a, hey, I got a Forsaken Chest. I don't see any Ludum. Can you even get Ludum from these things? Probably not hot. You can get 10. I didn't get anything. Alright, maybe if I open this up. Oh, come on, open all. Stardust only. Oh my goodness, I do not have enough. Rank up, rank up. Oh my gosh, if it was only later. Let's see, Earth. Let's go back to him. Phil, yeah, I only have three. How do I not... 40, oh, like 47 chests, I don't get anything. And I, I even gemmed. I even sped up to gem. And I, oh, what a waste of, wait, do we try this one? Let's do this. <laughs> what if it's, what if it's, no, it's not. It's a Cawthor. Oh my gosh, what a waste. We're going to repeat and repeat. Um, I guess we're showcasing the monster rank too. I apologize, everyone. There's, there's really nothing I could do. I tried. I really, really tried to do this. Um, but it goes here, just so you guys know. 100% I believe you should invest in this monster. Get him at least to rank 3 so he has Mega Taunts. Um, otherwise, you're not going to use this monster at its full potential. Um, see, since he is my Mega Taunt monster, I am going to give him a 10. Um, I feel like, honestly, they don't need all 10s, but ah, what the heck. Let's go 10-10 let's go and let's go triple 10 on him since I am going to be using him. He's going to be he's gonna be one of my first 150 Corrupted Monsters. Uh, so in terms of rune setup, I like to go team speed on my Megaton monsters. You can do three team speed, you can do two team speed, it really just depends. See here's Shadow with three team speed. Again, you need Megaton though, so uh, this might not be the best showcase of the monster, so we will definitely make a video, but you guys are not going to be seeing any, time of, any kind of video until Tuesday. So unfortunately, you won't see him at his full potential, but you'll still get to uh, see the monster somewhat. Maybe I can just turn time for into him and then use... Yeah, here's what I'll do. I'll turn transfer into him and use the Megaton. I, I think that's the best way to go about it. Um, So this is going to be the team I'm going to use. And let's get into the battles. All right, this ought to be fun. I think I've only done like one attack in this new Corrupted Tournament. So Destroyer 95. Click Fight. Uh, Fompied Astros is going to be a little annoying. But typically the, the way it should work is obviously my monster would go. My monster would have Megaton, right? He'd have his Megaton set up. The, and then... Um, okay, cool. AoE. Look at that. Soul Drag. If And again, um, this is a dark monster, so obviously it doesn't do as much damage as it normally would. But Soul Drag does have the potential to kill. Actually, if Soul Drag, if that was a rank 5 monster, Soul Drag would have still killed that fine pedestal. Because she is, her HP is less than 250k. And yeah, it's that's basically it. Megatons are there to absorb damage. That is their only purpose. They're, they absorb t uh, damage, they absorb the enemy attack, and you go from there. Deeper Breath. Alright, let's just finish these battles. Um, and, again, and again, guys, just I want everyone to know 100% the monster is amazing. 100% get the monster, incredible monster. It's the Megaton mechanic. That's all you need to know. So, what you're going to see in this video is not a true representation of the monster's potential because, as you all know, Megaton dominates the game. Megaton is what you need to progress in the game. So, yes, get the monster. Yes, invest in them. Use your Ludum. I, I really do think so. Everyone always asks me, Armor, do I use my Ludum on Dream? Do I use my Ludum on Pandakin? And I always say, honestly, just save your Ludum. There's no reason to spend it until a good monster comes along. And Megaton is that good monster. So I already I used it all and I wasn't I didn't get enough. But you you all know how it works, right? There's there's actually like no real mystery to using Megaton Monster. It's literally they're there with Megaton. That's <laughs> that's what they do. Bam, Megaton, Cosmic Grandma. Yeah, right now he's getting killed by everyone. But see, there's that soul drag kicking in. Let's see how much life it took away from that Daigel. Daigel took away a good chunk. I wonder. I have, I'm at rank two, so it's actually not that much. It's probably like 30k, if anything. I think at rank four, it's 200k. All right, and right now, since I'm facing all these 150s, that's why he's getting OTK'd. Um, but here, let's click fight. Oh, here's a good one. So we will sequence bend into him again. He has Megaton. He's there to protect my team. Boom. Uh, let's see if I can't finish you off. Nightmare on the street. Who has the most life? Nightmare on the street. We'll do spooky. You still have the most life. We'll finish off Daedalus. Daedalus is dead. All right, see? Absorbing the Megaton. So that was, or sorry, absorbing the freeze. That was AoE freeze, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we will go Age or Greater Times Curse. Get rid of your Megaton. Rod Drowning. There you go. Protecting my team. Man, I am so squishy. What are they? 150. No, oh no. He's, who runs a Strength Rune on Dana? That's interesting. That is super interesting. We're going to recharge. And then we are going to revert events on myself. 
And let's let the AI finish this off. Reaper. And then Spooky. And then I'm assuming AoE. There we go. Awesome AI. So we're going to give Alfie two life runes since Alfie keeps dying from these monsters. Very weird setup right there. Um, let's exit out. Discard that. Change this. And let's go. Yeah, but going back to what I was saying. This is the monster you want to get at least to rank 3. And obviously, if you have Soul Drag, the higher rank this monster is, the even better it'll work out for the monster. Because then the enemy has to really, really think twice before killing your monster because they risk losing a monster. So they don't have a resurrection monster, especially in the worst scenario where they're going to lose a coin and they definitely do not want that. Alright, we have a Hardy here. Um, I am going to go... Oh man, see? It sucks because I can't... He's supposed to have Megaton, he's supposed to protect me, but in this case, obviously, that doesn't happen. Alright, Blinding Punch, my monsters were all attacked. Uh, here, let's do my AoE skill. Oh, it actually still landed. Wow. That's surprising. Um, died, came back to life. Spooky. Highway to Hell. Oh, this was in a really good battle. Oh, there's a shield kicking in, draining enemy stamina. Um, if I wanted a stun, here is my Megaton now protecting my team. Um, what's left of my team? No one, I'm by myself. Alright. Singing for you, yeah. Um, you can definitely see what the life does in terms of tankiness. Yeah, making it harder, way, way harder to kill me. My Van Os shield kicking in, giving me extra life. Alright, we'll exit out of that and we'll go on to the next battle. Could have utilized the sun skill. I was frozen though, so that, that wasn't much to showcase there. Alright, on to the next battle we go. Alright, let's see what we have here. Um, let's click fight. Alright, cool. So, um, I, I, I predict on Dan we'll get rid of it, but that's fine. Anti-Brutish system. And Ivory Wall. So, Raw Johnny. See, I lost my Megatons. And then that's why I said, like, on turn 2... That's when you would reapply Megaton or when you would stun. In this case, I would reapply Megaton. So it really does depend on the specific situation, what you need to do. All right, let's see. Um, let's go Spooky, finish you off. All right, Flying with the Devil, let's hit you. And then what do I want to do? Probably Revert Event over here. Water Swirl, Stamina Drain, uh, Mud Jet, Pina Energy. Pina Energy for that 50% shield and that immediate heal. Um, let's go Curse over here. Healing Mask kicks in, Splatter Bite. That's the CDA skill, so remember, um, CDA is something you are going to run into. In this case, it's just a Saiyan Mist, but you'll typically see a Kodama or maybe any future corrupted monster that can activate your cooldown. So um, that's why running zero cooldown skill could potentially be in handy, especially like just giving yourself a 30% shield. That's nice. Um, enemies keep ulting me, so that's not fun. Um, sequence Bend, Revert Events here. Let's Revert Events and let's protect my team. Ivory Wall, there we go. Megatons. Recharge, Raw Drowning, lost my Megaton, but protected the team. Um, let's go greater times curse age overseer. Let's just do that. All right, so you'll die next turn with curse. I'll recharge. Actually, you'll die with my monster. Or look, um, let's yeah, see my jet just boom, single target. And then even if you would have survived the quicksand and everything, that would have been enough. So yeah, there's that's Ollie for you. Great monster, Megaton. It's there again. There's not much to talk about, but I the only way I can showcase Megaton is by turn transferring every single turn because I don't have him in rank three, but I will. Do not worry, I will. Let's actually click on him to see what rank 2 does in terms of the Megatons. Here's another good example, right? It's just a legendary monster, but just because, just because it has Megaton, it's, it's still usable. So Soul Drag right now will deal 50k damage. 50k when I die. So Sequence Band here, let's just protect my team. We'll go Ivory Wall. Alright, Blow the Ashes. There, absorbed all the damage from Heist. And then even from Teddy, absorbed everything. Again, they're, they are there to absorb. It's it's for everyone that's new to the game. That's Megaton. That's why Megaton is so sought after. It's so powerful. Bam. Once Megaton is gone, you're free to attack everyone. Then you're free to win games. Um, let's see. We are going to do Age Overseer. Turn them into babies if they will. And then I have... This is where... Well, like I said, like, do you want to stun or do you want to... Like, what do you want to do? Um, typically, though, you will stun. Here, let's see if I can stun. Nope, it missed. I was dazed. I should have just gone for the heal. So, fortunately, they are recharged anyways. Um, I'm just going to let the battle... Let's see. Spooky. We'll attack you. I want to let the battle play out a little. So, we're going to recharge. Recharge. All right. He died. Um, bullet rain. Okay. Missed anyways. Um, see, I can give quicksand if I want to. I can go for the immediate 25% heal plus that 50% shield. Here, let's revert events on him. And he died anyway. So, um, yeah. That's the monster in a nutshell. I, I'm definitely going to be doing an updated video on him when he is rank 3. And by Tuesday, he will be at rank 3. Because I will do... I will have done the... What is it? The Titan Dungeon twice? That's like an extra 500, um, not even 500, that's like an extra 800 Ludum. So definitely by Tuesday, he's going to be rank 3. 
Um, you guys did see me. I hatched one. I spent the gems. I sped through everything just to get the monster to rank three, not even realizing that I wouldn't have enough. But I really wanted to get this video out for you guys. So I apologize that it wasn't a rank three monster, but you guys know how Megaton works, right? I could have put Shelly Bombay. It would have been the same thing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below whether you got this monster or not. Any and all thoughts. And remember to subscribe.